First on five, as Alabama slowly reopens and gets back to work, entertainment venues are still waiting. And there will be changes, of course, when they do reopen. News 5's Debbie Williams joins us live tonight at OWA to tell us more about what those changes might look like when they finally get the go-ahead, Debbie, to get back to work. That's right. Amusement park zoos, theaters, all chopping at the bit to get back to work and just waiting on that green light to come from Montgomery. Two months since anyone went screaming down the roller coaster at Owa. Yes, this is one of the last pieces of the puzzle. While retail shops and restaurants have reopened, the park has not. We'll have some additional social distancing put in place with those six foot standards, as well as doing temperature checks at the main gate before they come into the park. Staff will also wear face masks, and social distancing will apply to the rides as well. Business at the wharf is getting back to normal, but major attractions like the Ferris wheel, movie theaters, and the amphitheater still sit idle. Individual artists will decide when they will return to the concert stage. It could be another month before you can go back to the movies, and no word yet when the Ferris wheel will start turning again. We actually have a phase plan that we're ready to enact as soon as we get the green light to go ahead and do so. At the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo, that will mean one way in and one way out, and some attractions will be slower to open than others. Our indoor spaces like the reptile house and the bear butterfly house, both of those will probably remain remain closed because they're relatively tight places that people stay and linger for lengths of time. The top priority for all is everyone feels safe when they do return. So far, no one knows when that will happen. I can't wait to get open. But when they do get that go ahead to open, it's going to take a minute for them to do so, at least a couple of days in some places. Now, the governor's current health order expires May 22nd. That's the first day of the Memorial Day weekend. Live on the Baldwin County Beat and Foley, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.